So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 40 of our Portsmouth career mode and we are going to be kicking off this episode with an extremely difficult game it's going to be at Fratton Park up against Oxford United. So Oxford United are currently sitting third in the league table and we're currently sitting first with 72 points but guys look at our lineup we've had to create some Massive invention in this game, and if we come out with any points whatsoever, we will be geniuses. Because look at this, guys. We've got um, Talbot playing at left back. We've got Roberts playing at left mid. We've got Rose playing up front, and we've got Linganzi playing at Cam. That's right. We've mixed up the side completely. It's going to be a very, very difficult game. But I do have faith we can actually get something from this. So Luke Ram plays the ball through to Bennett down the right hand side. Bennett with a good first time touch. Tries to get back inside. He plays the ball back to Linganzi. Linganzi to fake shot round his man, which he has done. Linganzi to strike it from range. But unfortunately, his shot can only go straight into the gloves of the Oxford United goalkeeper. So an early promising start for us, which is very surprising. As I thought Oxford were going to come flying out the blocks when they saw the poor team sheet we've put forward for this game. So we're trying to create a chance to play ball through to Menezes. Menezes through to Lookman. Lookman out wide to Rose. Can Rose get there? He gets a good block on it. And we're going to try and win the ball back down the left-hand side, which we kind of try and do, but fail to. So half an hour gone in the game, and Oxford have failed to get their bodies forward at all. We're creating the most danger, but we're struggling to get past the back line, to be honest, because Rose up top is obviously, he looks completely out of place. It's not a position at all. And I think when he gets in them attacking positions, he doesn't really know what to do. So really good chance for Oxford. They played a lovely ball over the top. A lovely ball through to their number four. And their number four and their captain blazes the ball wide. So towards the end of the half time, Oxford has started to get a foothold in the game now. That's a decent strike, but he failed to hit the target. So Timo Werner's goal is yet to be tested. But I think in the second half, they're surely going to think they can get all three points from this game and stun the league leaders. Because to be honest, as I said earlier on in the game, um, we can clearly see the strength the team that we've actually fielded today isn't the strongest and I wasn't expecting to get anything from the game but if we do it would be anything it would be a bonus so we play the ball out wide to Gary Roberts. Gary Roberts is actually getting on now and he will actually be leaving the club. But he plays the ball through to Linganzi. Linganzi tries to turn his man and we lose out. And actually we try and take a tactical foul but it doesn't matter because Menezes wins the ball back for us. As he played the ball through to Lookman. Lookman through to Rose. Rose lovely turn past his man but he's just really sluggish. And to be honest, Rose's position is definitely not a striker is it? I know you guys are probably thinking, yeah, so what the fuck do you play him at striker then? Well because... Actually, I'm playing him at striker because we haven't got anyone else fit. He was the only fit player that we had because we have got the FA Cup quarterfinals after this game and we wanted our first team line out fully fit for that one. So we might have a good chance though, as he squeeze the ball through to Gary Roberts. Gary Roberts got plenty of room to run into and can he cut back inside with a scoop turn, which he does do. Gary Roberts got a lovely dazing run, but he cannot just about squeeze through. And with just uh, 25 minutes remaining, I'm not sure if there's going to be a winner. It might be a repeat of earlier on in the season because earlier on in the season there was a goalless draw against Oxford at their place. It looks like we could be on course for another goalless draw at Fratton Park. So the ball through to Bennett. Bennett's actually got a good chance. He plays the ball through to Lookman. Lookman to strike it. Oh, he's put the ball just wide of the post. Lookman had the best chance of the game. And it actually comes in the 75th minute. That just proves how few clear-cut chances the game has thrown up for us. But Lookman with a lovely chance on his left foot. He just couldn't fail to hit the target. So Linganzi through to Lookman. Lookman through to Bennett. We've got a lovely chance again. Bennett strikes it. And his shot is pretty much identical to Lookman's just five minutes earlier. Because Lookman's went just wide wide off the post and this time Bennett's shot went just wide of the post as well so we're actually ending the game on the front foot. So play ball through to Menezes. Menezes on the ball plays ball through to Rose. Rose can see the overlapping runner Talbot and Talbot our left backs getting forward. It's a good ball in the box but it gets a really good block on so eight minutes remaining is there going to be a slightest of chances for us to win that header in the air? We can't because the goalkeeper comes out and wins that one and now Oxford look like they can go on the counter as their number 10 Maguire hits the ball past Berejano. Berejano is actually out of energy. Can he catch up with him? It doesn't look like he's going to be able to but that's a poor ball from they're number 10 and Davies at the back picks up the missing piece so that's another player that's playing which doesn't normally play but we might have another good chance though as we play the ball out wide to Bennett Bennett through to Lookman Lookman tries to get a good first touch on it but fails to do so 
So the game ends as it did in the first tie that we played against Oxford because Oxford we recently played, or well not recently, but at the start of the season we played them at their place and we drew 0-0. We then go ahead and play them again at Fratton Park and we draw 0-0 again. So both games against Oxford have resulted in a stalemate and a little bit disappointing that we couldn't find a back next. We had two really good chances towards the end of the game, one with Lookman and the other with Bennett, but it just wasn't to be. But then at the end of the day, a point isn't the worst result, especially when you have got a very strong lineup out. So, we have been very fortunate because look at this, guys. In the Emirates FA Cup quarterfinal, we've been drawn against Hull City away from home. So, I know it's a quarterfinal, but I believe we should really put up a good fight. And we've got a really good chance to go through to the semi-final. We could have been drawn against the likes of Chelsea or any big nation, any big country, I should say. But we did not get drawn against them. We got drawn against championship side Hull City. So we got a fantastic chance now. So I think they actually got relegated. They might be a Premier League side still, but I'm not sure. But we are going to be taking them on at the KCOM Stadium, whatever that stands for. And we've got our strongest lineup available, apart from Moore is currently sitting on the uh, reserves because he's still got a knock. But Alex Iwobi will start in up top, along with uh, Pulisic, uh, Mbapp Loading, Cardoso, Omar. It's going to be a fantastic game. And we got a really good chance of getting through to the semi-final of the FA Cup. So we may have the good first chance of the game as he squeezed the ball down to Pulisic down the right hand side. He does fantastically well to cut past everyone. Pulisic trying to create an opening on his left boot. He goes for goal but all he can do is scoop that one in the air and pretty much miscues it horribly wide off the post but we've got to keep an eye on Robert Snodgrass because he's picked up three goals in his previous three games. We've got to try and keep him at bay in this one. Good chance for Hull. They got the ball with Jake Livermore. We've got to try and cut this one out as they try and play the ball through. Our centre-backs lost it, but Timo Werner, uh, actually actual Werner, sorry, Timo Werner as a striker, gets off of his line very quickly as you play the ball through to Moore here. Moore's going to see the overlapping run of Cardoso. Cardoso's not the quickest player, but he's got the skills as he cuts back inside. Plays the ball back to Reese Oxford. Reese Oxford through to Omer. Omer, they can see that they know he can hit them from range, just as uh, West Ham managed to keep him at bay in that one. One. It looks like Hull have done the homework on him as well. Another good chance for Christian Pusilic. Lovely piece of play from Christian. Christian goes for goal on his left boot, but it just wasn't to be. And for some reason, Pulisic, every time I get the ball with him, I try and shoot with his left foot. Why am I doing that, guys? He's right-footed. So one final chance of the half is going to fall to Christian Pusilic as he gets the ball down the right-hand side. Can he cut back inside? He does do. He keeps on going. He's actually run out of energy. And somehow, Christian's still got the ball. Can he cut back inside? Which he does do. Lovely step over from Christian. And did he get a slight touch on him there? If he went to the ground, would be have been awarded a penalty? Because it looked clear to me that he got a touch. But Alex Awobi tries to squeeze the ball through to Mbapp. Loads in. But the ball does get cut out. And the referee brings the first half to a hole. But questions over Pulisic at the end of that first half. If he went to ground, do you guys think he would have been awarded a penalty? So Lowton with a lovely ball through to Alex Awobi. Awobi squeezing the ball through to Christian Pusilic. Lovely step over from Christian. He goes one way. He actually gets taken out. But it comes to Moore. Moore to strike it. And that's a lovely block from the number five uh, for Hull. As he denies us. And Robert Sograss there has had zero shots on target in this game. And uh, obviously the whole City fans are going to want him to try and improve in the second half. But we might have one good chance here as we play the ball out wide to Igor Cardoso. And what's he doing, man? Come on, you've got to control that. So Wobi with a good ball through to Mbapp Lotin. Lotin's charging past his man. Can he actually stand up tall? He plays the ball across to uh, Cardoso. Cardoso back heels with the ball through to Alex Awobi. Awobi's taking it round his man. Awobi to go for goal. And he picks up his first goal in a Pompey shirt. And it's a very important goal because it's going to put us in front in this game, which could in fact put us into the semi final of the FA Cup. It's a lovely piece of play from Mbapp Lotin. He managed to hold up the ball. He played the ball out wide to Igor Cardoso. Cardoso played the ball back inside to Alex Iwobi. He had lots and lots to do. But wow, what a goal. A lovely chance to squeeze the ball through to Igor Cardoso. Cardoso is going to be caught by Sam Klukas. But he actually pushed him off the ball. 
And now we've got a chance. We're going to strike this from range. Who's got the best free kick stats? Let's give the ball to Pulisic because I just love this guy. We're going to go for the power. We're going to try and get this up and over the wall. Pulisic to strike it from range. He hits it and it goes awfully wide <laughs> over the top of the crossbar. And with 12 minutes remaining, play up Pompey. We need a win here. Good chance for Hull here. They got the ball on the edge of the box with their centre-back. Davis, the ball comes to Embakani. Yes, thank God for that. We got a fantastic block on it from, um, I don't know who it was. But anyway, we got a block on it and that's the most important thing. And now all we need to do is try and get the ball clear. Can we get that one clear? The goalkeeper come out. Yes, there we go. The goalkeeper's got it. And now we surely are going to be able to hold on, aren't we? As we're going to try and launch a counter-attack as you play a lovely ball over the top to Igor Cardoso. Cardoso run out of energy, but he can win that one in the air as he tries to play the ball through to end back low team and the whole city defender is going to mop up the missing pieces so we're now into extra time three minutes remaining Murillo has actually been beaten down the left hand side by Lenny Han Lenny Han's going to whip the ball in the box he whips in and Reese Ox with a good challenge Pulisic plays the ball out wide and we play the ball to end back low team but it doesn't matter because the referee blows a full time whistle and guys we're through to the semi-final of the FA Cup that's right we have gone on such an amazing Amazing journey and all the players hugging each other in celebration because they cannot believe it. A club that have just got promoted from League 2 to League 1 and now in the semi-final of the FA Cup. We could be drawn against a massive side and to be honest I hope we're going to get drawn against massive side because if we get drawn against massive side and win we're going to have a really good chance of taking our first trophy. And uh, as you see there, the sides left, we can be drawn against Chelsea because they beat Crystal Palace. We can be drawn against Man United, Brentford, Middlesbrough or Birmingham. Please can we get drawn against Middlesbrough? If we get drawn against Middlesbrough, guys, we can have a fantastic chance getting through to the final. So look at this fantastic news, guys. We originally started with just having one player go on international duty, which was Diego Berejano. Then Ender Stevens has been called up to the Ireland squad and now Christian Pulisic has been called up to the United States and Emre Moore has been called up to Turkey. But Emre Moore's injured, so why is he being called up? But anyway, let's have a look here. We've got a youth squad report available and we've been given £457,000 for getting through to the Emirates FA Cup semi-final. That's a fantastic amount of money. And let's have a look at our youth scout report. So this guy does look very good. Hugh Morris has got a very good potential, but the only problem is his overall is so low. So now the third and final game of the episode is going to be up against South End. So, oh, that's a nice kit, actually. But anyway, we're going to be playing at home at Fratton Park. We're pretty much going to be putting out exactly the same line-out as we did in the FA Cup. And uh, the only reason why Pulisic and uh, Cardoso and that aren't fully fit is they've been on training. And also Pulisic has been on international duty as well. So, please, guys, can we get another good result? So Mbappé Lotin plays the ball through to Omar. Omar plays the ball through to Alex Awobi. Alex Awobi to go for goal. And that's a really good save from the south end goalkeeper to keep the scoreline at 0-0. Alex Awobi is really making a statement here saying more might be on the treatment table. But when he comes back, I'm telling you now, boss, he's not walking straight back in as we put the corner in the box. It comes to Christian Pulisic and the ball comes back out to Alex Awobi. And Awobi nearly took that one away from the south end defender. So win the ball back with Lotin here. We're going to squeeze the ball through to him. It's, oh, Alex. Alex's ball through to Mbappé Lotin wasn't the best. Otherwise, it would have been clear through against the goalkeeper. We win the ball back Mario. Mario plays ball through to Omar. Omar through to Lotin. Through to Reece Oxford. Reece Oxford plays ball through to Alex Awobi. Surely this time he's going to find the back of the net and he's put the ball wide. Alex, that's a simple chance. You've got to be putting them ones away. Good chance for Southend. They go for goal. It gets a deflection. And we get very fortunate there. As the ball ricochets off the post. It was an awful deflection. Which actually sent Axel Werner the wrong way. And to me, it looked like they were going to be going into the halftime break with a 1-0 advantage. But the luck was on our side there. As um, the shot gets ricocheted off our defender. Straight onto the post. So when things are going well, they do go well, don't they? When you're playing well, uh, in good form. Then I'm sure the luck is with you. Because there, we did get very lucky. As we play the ball through to Reece Oxford. Reece Oxford through to Omer here. Omer's going to cut back inside on his right foot. Or he actually does a fake step over. He plays the ball through to Alex Awobi. Awobi takes it past his man, goes for goal. But the ball was actually gone by the time he went for the airstrike. And where are all our defenders? It's a clear chance here for South End. And they mess up the chance. He's going to come to Rick Van Dronglen. And what about that for a challenge? 
So we play the ball across to Christian Pulisic here. Pulisic tries to play the ball back through to Omar, which he does do, but Omar's touch was the wrong way. We wanted to make it the other way because we saw Igor Cardoso was in acres of space down the right-hand side. And uh, to be honest, as you can see here, it's pretty much end-to-end -end football. There's so much room all over the place as we play the ball through to Alex Awobi. He's actually got a plus next to his name now, which is a little bit disappointing. But Alex Awobi keeps on running here. He plays the ball through to Christian Pulisic. Pulisic tries to cut back inside. We should have tried to take on the shot of our left foot, but we didn't have faith in him. We should have more faith in him, shouldn't we? He's a big money sign-in. So Igor Cardoso on the ball here. We're trying to create a pass. As he played the ball to Reese Oxford. Reese Oxford through to Alex Awobi. And Alex Awobi's first time touch is poor as well. But Rick Van Jongelen plays the ball through to Pulisic. Pulisic through to Omar. Omar's going to try and get the ball back on his left boot. But he plays the ball back to Christian Pulisic. Pulisic cuts back inside. He's going to go for the far post. And it's a good block from the South End defender. So we're just 15 minutes remaining now. South End are now pushing bodies uh, forward as well. And it's pretty much end-to-end -end football. Both teams look like they're going for all three points. We're at the top. So basically... the win for us is more important than it is for South End. South End can't go anywhere. They can't go down and they can't go up, but they're just playing for pride. But it's a good ball across to the far post. Can we win that with Maria? We can't, but we do get the ball clear with Igor Cardoso as Cardoso plays the ball through to Reese Oxford. Reese Oxford through. We're going to play the ball through to Alex Awobi, but the ball gets cut out. But we might have a lovely chance. Igar Cardoso has been played through. Come on, Igar. You can find the back of the net, can't you? He goes for goal. And he does. Our scout future star has done it again. And number 18 is going to go ahead and celebrate in front of the cameras. And in the 83rd minute, it looks like we've got the goal to pick us up all three points in this game. As I said earlier on, they're both teams were going for all three points. Southend pushed loads of bodies forward. And there's lovely ball over the top from Omar through to Cardoso. And Cardoso, all he had to do was hit the target and put the ball past the goalkeeper and boy did he do that to give us a 1-0 lead. So Mbapp Lotin's been played through now. Mbapp goes for goal and he's been on a goal drought and he's scored. He's going to go ahead and celebrate in front of the fans and that was pretty much all of South End's own making. Their defender was so slow across the ground. Mbapp Lotin isn't the quickest player but he manages to catch up with him and overtake him in a foot race and it was a good ball over the top and the defender's first touch was awful. He gives Lotin a chance. Lotin still had a lot to do, don't get me wrong, but that's a lovely finish into the corner of the net so we scored two goals in the final 10 minutes to wrap up all three points so there we go the referee brings the game to a halt and we come out 2-0 victorious winners so for 80 minutes of that game it looked like we were going to get nothing from it but with the final 10 minutes we put in a master class performance and picked up a 2-0 win it's a fantastic result for us and we've picked up Three wins, uh, actually two wins in this episode and one draw. That's really good performances from us recently. And I think we're on course to win. And look at that. Our manager rating's gone up to a 90. It's the first time it's gone up so much in this series. And that's incredible. It really is. But that is going to bring the episode to an end. And I really do hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below as it is going to be very much appreciated. And don't forget, if you're around here, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos and career modes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye -bye.